in the distant year of 2022 comes a game of sight and spectacle. Robots near and far compete for the adoration of their human masters. It's Cyberball! Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming, and happy American Thanksgiving weekend. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping in to Cyberball. We're getting into the Thanksgiving football season with some Cyberball. I am not American, I'm Canadian, for anyone who watches my channel, you know. Um, so it's not Thanksgiving for me, but uh, I hear you uh, American folks out there like your football Sundays on Thanksgiving, so I figured... What the hey, let's play some game that's uh, kind of football-ish. So Cyberball here is a uh, cyber football game. It's a football game of cyborgs by Atari Games, seven-man football style, using robo-avatars. Reminds me of the old NES game Base Wars. You know, that was sort of like baseball, but with robots. I mean, robots make everything cooler. I'm not a sports guy, but you throw robots into something, and suddenly I'm interested. So uh, without further ado... Let's go ahead and slap some quarters in here and uh, get going. You'll notice that there's actually two screens simultaneously. I will talk about that in a bit. I'm not doing anything funky, but I'm going to be playing on the left screen here. So uh, we can be in the instructional division or the pro division. We totally need to be instructional. I like the Los Angeles Assassins. Those guys sound badass. So we're going up against New York. LA versus New York. How prototypical can you get? And here are the cyborgs at play here. So the crux of this game is that it's basically just football, except that uh, robots can be destroyed. So I caught the ball there, and I got knocked down. Um, I don't know football. I don't know any plays. So we're just going to hope that things work out well for me. Boom. Oh, I caught the ball. Oh, and I, I got sidelined. Okay. So the whole crux of this game <laughs> let's try the snake the snake dance the snake dance the shakedown the canned heat or the easy ride we're going for the coolest sounding play in all times um so the crux of this game is the robots can be destroyed and the ball itself starts to glow and blink and it it sort of heats up so see this is ball status warm when the ball gets too hot, it will literally explode when somebody is tackled, and it will destroy the robot who catches it. So the cool thing about this is, yeah, it's football, but it's football in that you can destroy other robots. And uh, that that's the kind of football I want to play. Football where, I mean, I wouldn't want to see people literally getting killed, but I wouldn't mind seeing robots uh, get get uh, destroyed. So we'll try rope-a-dope, see if that works. So yeah, I barely understand the rules of football. Um, boom! Oh my god, that was a fumble. I know that that was not good. Oh, the ball status is hot, so we're really screwing up here. Running play. Let's do a... Oh, oh end of period. Alright, you are on the offense. Okay, pass play. So I guess you run out of quarters if you don't do good enough. Let's try the cheap hooker. <laughs> That, is that like a is that like a reference to like prostitutes or is that like you know a left hook is it like a punching reference boom oh we caught the ball but we got punched to the ground um i want to see like i want to see the ball explode how about a wham bam how about a wham bam guys so the los angeles assassins here are a gang of uh criminal robots designed to play football oh god look how far we got that's awesome. We could actually do this, guys. This might be a thing. We're going to go for the good old uh, trail sweep, I guess. Let's do it. Okay, so there's two screens here. What the heck is going on? Um, basically, the way this game worked uh, back in the days of the arcades is 
Um, it had two screens and it had four controllers, so you could actually play four players. You could play uh, like one on one, so one player to each monitor. You could play co op, so two players on a monitor uh, co oping against the computer. And you could also play like big 4v4 matches. Um, so that, that was a thing as well. Um, ball status is hot. Let's just keep with these running plays. The roundabout, why not? I'm just picking stuff randomly and just trying to like run past the scrimmage line. Um, okay, go, 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 Oh, we made it pretty far. I think we're actually going to be able to score. We have 15 seconds left. Um, I think we got to do... Um, oh, that's just how much time until I run out of quarters. Okay, you're on the offense. Okay, we're going to try running play. We're going to go with canned heat. We're going to can that heat. So, yeah, this was kind of like a weird Frankenstein of an arcade machine in that it actually had two monitors oh go oh the ball exploded no turnover you are on defense oh we were so close to scoring all right um <clears throat> i don't know long i guess and we'll corner blitz them because that sounds good all right come on you punks let's get them get them get them get them did they score or did we score? You were on offense. Oh, we stole the ball, I think. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Um, I hope you guys find... I think we scored. I hope you guys understand football better than me. Oh, they just teleported a dude onto the field. Um, and I hope this is kind of interesting for you again. I don't, I don't pretend to understand football. It's not my forte. As far as I understand, I'm controlling robots that are just running through the field. But anyway, two monitors crazy kind of Frankenstein setup for an arcade machine, no? Like, um, we, we've heard of cool cool arcade machine setups before. I know there's been some, like, cocktail tabletop uh, setups where they've had, like, four controllers. So I think there was, like, a Destruction Derby game we played like that where there's a racing wheel in each corner of the table. And uh, people could sort of, like, it didn't matter where you were sitting around the table. Uh, you could just control your racer and so on. So there was that. Oh, look at us go! Look at us go! <laughs> I am like a ball hog. I do not like to pass the ball. Let's go with a can of corn. How about that? Um, but yeah, we've never seen two monitors. And so this was actually like an interesting... Oh, go, 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 go! Oh, come on! We were so close! We were so close. Why did? Why do my robots go so slow? I was like a mile away. And they caught up to me? That's, that's, uh, I, I, forgive me, but that's shenanigans. That's, that's true shenanigans. Okay, go, 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 boom! Touchdown, baby! Try for conversion, two points. Yeah! So I may not know how to play football, but I just got a touchdown. So what does that mean about you folks who know how to play football, huh? Huh? Um, I think it means you know what's going on more than me. The ball is critical. It will explode. Imagine real football was like this. Um, go! Oh! I did a conversion! Whatever the hell that was. I just walked over there. Because we're badass. Um, so yeah, so this machine... So basically the way it worked is... Imagine you had two computer monitors on your desk. Imagine they were all both facing forward. And then take them and like... Rotate one of them. Oh, that guy's getting through. Rotate, rotate them each about 15 degrees away from each other. And then that's what the monitors were like on this arcade machine. Oh my god, we have dancing robots for halftime. That's totally awesome. CBL, the Cyberball League, I guess. Um, coincidentally, the arcade version of this game was so strategic and so involved that actually to this day, there are cyberball tournaments. So back in the 80s when this game came out, there were cyberball tournaments that people would play because uh, this game was like so involved. And uh, those tournaments still exist. People are still playing those tournaments, uh, which is crazy. They play it on like emulators and stuff around the world. Uh, I, look, that's super, super impressive, I think. How about long defense? And we'll go for zone. Defend the zone. Let's see if that'll work. So I don't know what I'm doing here, but uh, the LA Assassins do not shy away from a challenge. Yeah, look, my guy's cheering. So these, so were these robots designed to play football? Like, or are they like repurposed war bots, I wonder? 
you know? And, like, what are they fighting for? Maybe, like, if, if a robot gets really popular in the crowd or whatever, it will uh, earn its freedom or its glory or something. Earn sentience. That'd be, that'd be quite the... Uh, let's go for standard nickel. Quite the, quite the stakes for a robot to, like, fight to gain its sentience. Um, I wonder if, if, if sports will ever be like this, where basically... Um, oh, yeah. Oh, man, the computer sucks. Incomplete passes. They're fumbling. Like, I'm not good, but the computer's terrible, which I appreciate. I appreciate playing against a bad computer. It makes me feel good about myself. That ball is just... That thing's going to explode the second we touch it. Um, apparently... You can also just by tackling robots enough eventually make them explode just cuz so you can make robots explode if you tackle them when they have a glowing ball or if you just tackle them just for funsies um, but yeah I wonder what these uh, ball diffused oh man okay so if they pass like the five yard line or something the ball diffuses itself so that that kind of sucks there's all these different kinds of robots. I'm looking on the right screen for a second here. Look, there's a running back and a wide receiver. So, like, there's literally different kinds of robots. But I wonder if, like, sports will ever hit a point where people would just play it through drones. That's, like, the ultimate almost eSport. Like, think of it. Okay, like, there's a sport where, like, physically you're playing the game. And, of course, you have to be in, like, peak physical condition to do that. But you can get injured and stuff. Then there's, like, eSports where you're playing a video game where, you know, eSports take, like, a lot of mental stamina. And they do require training. Like, don't think that they don't. Um, but, you know, people often don't consider them in the same league as sports. And fair enough. I mean, it's a little bit more like playing uh, poker um, in, so in that sort of a mental challenge. Although there is some physicality to it because, like, you do have to be really fast. So, like, reaction times matters in video games. So, it's not quite the same as a sport. As much as if you like esports, you have to be able to admit. But then, like, imagine that you had some weird kind... Ooh, interception! We got the ball! Sweet. Imagine you had some weird kind of hybrid where it was... Technically, you're playing a video game, but you're... But you're not just playing it in virtual space. There's actually robots in the field. You're playing a, you're playing a game with drones. So you're each controlling a drone. So it's kind of like a hybrid between a video game and a real sport. Although I'm guessing, I'm guessing that it would still be, um, still be considered more of like a video game because physically you don't have to be out there doing anything. Uh, let's try a cross up. See if that works. We got to get out of the end zone here. We don't want them to intercept here. It would be a disaster for us. Suckers! Suckers! Yeah! Yeah! Oh man, we we made it. I, I wanna I wanna do one where we like run across like the entire field. Where we just get it and go. Cause I, I feel like they're really good at catching up to me. Once I'm on their side, they're pretty good at catching up. Oh damn it, they got me. I I, I wanna do oh god, the ball is critical. I just want to do a mode where, like, or, or have a play where, like, we just run across the entire field. Just make them feel like, like, total losers and just dominate them. Who we missed. Oh, and the ball exploded. Thank God we got rid of that. You were on defense. Interesting. So when the ball explodes, things, the ball goes back and forth. Hmm. So this is, like, the last inning or something, I think. And then after that... Come on, let's get him. Oh, I think we tackled him. Oh man, they that that sucked for them. They didn't even they didn't even make they went negative yardage on that one. All right, come on, let's get him. Let's get him. All right, so Thanksgiving. So real football. Are you guys watching real football this weekend? Is that a thing? Um, again, I I'm not really a football guy, so doesn't super interest me. But I know it's I know it's a thing. Everyone likes to get around. Uh, I don't know why. Thanksgiving is this weird holiday of, like, eating turkey and seeing family, shopping in insane, uh, you know, s store deals where, like, people get trampled to death, and uh, watching football. I don't know why those things go together or what this holiday is supposed to be about, but it's a thing. Thanksgiving, dinner, Black Friday, and Sunday football. Um, I, I, I just, I don't understand how those things go together. Oh, no, we lost it to... Ah, they got a touchdown on us and the ball status is critical that sucks how about an lb drop we just we we can't let them get a conversion man or they get a few extra points and that's not happening get him get him oh he blew up 
Yeah, uh, my robot fell to his side. That's hilarious. So is it like Blades of Steel where they're down a robot now? Because in Blades of Steel, if you got a penalty, your guy would be in the box, and then like the other team would have an advantage. We blew up one of their robots. Do we get like uh, do we get an advantage here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you jerks. You're on offense. Damn straight we are. Let's go for a running play. And let's go for this one. So, yep. I feel like uh, football plays are kind of like, um, they're kind of like driving manual. I kind of, at some level, vaguely understand what these plays are about. It's showing how all the other football guys are going to behave. So I kind of get it. Let's go for downtown. Or no, airmail. But I also don't know how to do it properly. Like, was that a good pick? Was airmail the right one to pick here? I have no idea. And, oh, get get the ball. Get the ball, you fool. Incomplete pass. Oh, he, he, what? They just blew up different robots. Oh, yeah, they're just destroying. I guess that's the losing team. You guys, if you lose, you get turned into scrap metal. The assassins win! Assassins win! Assassins win! Assassins win! Awesome. Okay, let's try one round on the pro circuit and watch me get decimated. Um, after we enter my name for all to see for all time. J-A... Uh, y. Your initials. Boom. I made 110,000 bucks. That is how you do it. That's how you do it in the Robot League, man. You make 110 grand one game, and you retire. 100, 110 grand is not enough to retire on. Um, but yeah, the, the football plays, they kind of make sense, but I also have no idea how to do them. Oh, the Miami Terminators. Yeah, yeah. This, the, the name alone. I don't care where they're from, but the Terminators were literally... I just imagine a, a field of Schwarzeneggers. Imagine there's a, sh a field of naked Schwarzeneggers who traveled back in time to play football. That is a football game I would watch. I'm not a football guy, but I would watch that game. Like, that would just be awesome. And not for the nudity. I'd watch it because Schwarzenegger is, like, one of my all-time fave uh, action dudes. He was just so good. Like, there's, it's, you know, his later movies were less good. But in the 80s and 90s, it's like Schwarzenegger could, like, do no wrong. He was just awesome. Everything he touched was great. Um, I mean, you can, of course, point out a few lemons and stuff. But, uh, but yeah. He's, he's like... Classic Arnie is just, uh, I don't know. This can do no wrong. Boom! Oh, we got it! Damn, we should have just kept going. I slowed down. I slowed down. Let's do another pass play, because that worked out really well. Let's do virtually the same thing. We're going to thrust. We're going to thrust it in there. Okay, so I have three options of where to pass. Oh, boom! Incomplete. I'm I'm running to the end zone like I have the ball, but that was that was totally an incomplete. Um, okay, let's go with running play. It is funny that this game is set in the year 2022 because we're so far away from robot football even being a thing. It's like not even, not even kind of funny. Uh, I mean, it's funny because we're so far away, but it's it, it'd be awesome if robot football was a thing, but it totally is not. Um, but there was actually a sequel to this game. Um, it was more like an add-on. They say a sequel, but it was basically sort of like bug fixes and stuff. Um, and the game was called uh, 2072, Cyberwall 2072. Basically, they sold it to arcades as a conversion kit for the original game. It had bug, bug fixes, a um, few new features and stuff like that. Um, and I think actually that's the one that people played tournaments and stuff. Boom! Oh, we blew up! And it's a turnover, but we got pretty far. So now we're on defense. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we want to go short, medium, or long. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, you know, we haven't tried a timeout. Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> Just go for that. Rotation left. Sure, diffuse line. Good. Get him. Get him. Go. We pounded that guy back in time. All right, let's go for... Let's let Fate decide. Fate's going to decide this one, boys. Fate. Okay, we're going short. And we're going to let Fate decide. I've got my eyes closed. And we picked... I, I didn't even see what we picked. 
you know what? It's not really going to make a difference for how I play this game. So obviously people who know what they're doing in this game can do a lot better. Like, you know what's funny? In that play right there, the computer did everything. I'm the guy who's highlighted white. I didn't even have a chance to get over to, like, near where the ball was. The computer just did it. So I feel like... I, I feel like I'm only kind of half playing this game. Like, I don't... I'm not fully making moves or stuff like that. Okay, we're going to go with medium and the LB drop. Like, picking the plays, I guess, is the most strategic thing that a guy, a fella can do. But, all right, let's get these, get these fools. Oh, we tackled the guy. See, I wasn't even up there. I'm like, oh, my guys did a thing. Good for those guys. The three, four blitz. Let's do this. Let's make them eat our threes and fours, guys. Also, that ball is glowing white hot. Oh, we ball exploded, turnover them. Yeah, again, that wasn't even me. And we've got two, 22,500 bones. We're gonna go for pass play because I, I like the pass plays. Um. I guess there are like ports of this game on the Sega Genesis and stuff like that. And I think you can like, um, oh my God, go! <laughs> Holy crap, we almost made it to the finish line. The finish line, the uh, end zone or whatever. Uh, I guess in the other versions, you can use the money you earn to like upgrade your robots, which is actually pretty cool. Maybe I should have tried the Sega Genesis version or something like that. Boom, touchdown. But I, I don't know. I just felt like the arcade was the more definitive version. Maybe like next Thanksgiving, next American Thanksgiving, maybe I'll play like the Genesis version and we can look back on this. Um, actually, you know what? You know what I really actually wanted to play? Um, I'm having fun with uh, Cyberball here. But you know what I really... Oh, the <laughs> ball exploded. No good. Yeah, when you throw a ball in the sport and it explodes, the pass is not good. Um, you know what I really wanted to play, though, was Brutal Sports Football. Last year, for American Thanksgiving, I did the same thing where I thought it would be fun to sort of play a, uh, a football-ish game. Uh, from my American viewers, and I played Brutal Sports Football, which is a game, a futuristic game about space Vikings. It's kind of more like soccer or rugby than football, but basically you could literally pound guys to death on the field. You could cut them to pieces with swords and stuff like that. You could literally murder people. Uh, kind of like this, how we can blow up robots, only it was way more violent. You didn't even pick plays. It, you just ran it onto the field and pummeled each other into the ground. There were knives and swords and stuff. That game, I, I had a lot of fun with that game to the point where, like, I have honestly wanted to play it again. And I thought of maybe just doing it again today, but I thought, no, 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 no. We, we should try other games. We should try new games, variety. Try a different football-style game. So that's why, you know, we, we're playing this one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, he did what I wanted to do. He got a touchdown. God damn it. That's what I have dreamed of doing. At least someone did it. Um, so I'm glad we're playing the robot game today. But, like, I legitimately do want to go back and play Brutal Sports Football sometime. I think what I need to do... Damn it, they got the conversion, too. I think what I need to do for Brutal Sports Football is get, uh, like, one of my friends over and do a two-player version, because a two-player follow-up video would be fun. I only played one player versus the computer. It'd be really fun to, like, have uh, two humans, like me and another human, um, playing the same game against each other. I think that'd be pretty fun. Um, it'd be fun to play this against a human, too, but... Um, again, I feel like... Uh, whoa, reserve tight end... Replaces robot. Whoa, what happened there? One of my robots got destroyed. Oh, and I, I I don't know how I did that. Hold on. Hold on. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Oh, my God. Now we're getting a touchdown. Yeah. Turnabout's fair play, baby. There's like four of them chasing me. <laughs> well, we might actually win this. The Miami Terminators may actually pull this one out of out of the trash can. And win. We even have a chance at a conversion here. That's because we're so good, man. So good. Yes, conversion is good. Boop, 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 boop. 13 to 7, baby. You guys suck. You're never going to win. There's only 44 seconds left. You guys should give up. Give up. All right, let's go. Let's crush these fools. Get him. Get him. Yes. Oh, look at him. He's got miles to go. You are on defense. 
Only until I make that ball explode in their hands, then they're the one that are on defense. They should be on defense already, because my mission is to make that ball explode in their arms. And that is not going to be good for them. Yes, get him! Oh, I think we, we got him. Yes, let's go short again. Let's just rush him. I feel like just constantly just putting the pressure on is what we got to do. Make them feel that pressure. Oh, we almost caught the ball. Damn, they suck. Four seconds left. Oh, and that's time. Um, okay. So now we're on like round four or whatever. I love this little halftime show. I love this little halftime show. It's awesome. The CBL. The CBL. So I said at the beginning of this video that you put robots in anything, and I find it interesting. I think that's true. I like, like I'm not super interested in baseball, but Base Wars is an NES game I've like had on my radar that I want to play uh, for this channel for a while. I, I played it as a kid; it was fun, but like I want to like uh, play it for this channel, obviously. Um, this is actually. Uh, I, I just like the fact that it's robots. I mean, you know what? If this had humans, the gameplay would be the same. And the gameplay is, like, reasonable for a football game. Okay, I'm not a football nut. I'm not an aficionado. No! Aficionado of these things. Ball diffuse. Damn it. He got so far, too. Um, I'm not an aficionado of these things, so I can't tell whether this is, like, a great football game. But the fact that it still has tournaments after all these years leads me to believe it's a pretty good one. Um, boom, my guy's like doing a little dance. I like how the robots get excited. Um, but I'm trying to think, like, what are what are other, like, cool... You know what would be neat is I need to find other cool alternative sports games. Because, like, I'm less interested in playing a straight-up football game. But, like, Brutal Sports Football was super fun. This game is pretty cool. Um, you know, what are some other, like, alternative sports games where it's, like, robots or monsters... I've heard of Blood Bowl, and one of the Blood Bowls is in the Thousand and One book that, you know, Thousand and One games you have to play before you die. So we'll be playing that at some point. But, like, what are other ones? If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I guess, um, Brutal Deluxe Speedball was actually an alternative sports game. We played that one way back. I think I didn't appreciate it enough at the time. I almost want to go back and play that one, too, because, like... Um, as a, as an alternative sports game, I think that game, like in retrospect, I'm thinking now, like, yeah, like that was actually like a pretty great game. Like it was, it mixed it up. Things were different. It wasn't just a typical, um, it wasn't just a typical, uh, sort of sports title. So I, I would, uh, yes. Oh, you jerk. Oh my God. I thought we had them. The ball was critical. 13 all. This is a tie game. This is a nail biter. I can't believe this. They're totally going to get the conversion too, and that's just going to screw us over. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, conversion is no good. We have a tie game here, folks. A tie game. My God. Okay, so what we have to do is score and then run out the clock. <laughs> we need to use the meta strategy of run out the clock. That is our that is our go-to strategy here. Oh, my God. God, and they tackled us at like a million miles from the, the end zone. We are screwed here. We're screwed. We need some brewskis. I should have been drinking this whole time. I'm sure it would be doing a lot better. Drinking and football. Those are the things that are supposed to go together. Oh, the game's going. The game's going. Oh, geez. Okay. They blocked me. The ball status is cool. Cool as a cuke. A cucumber. Okay. My strategy is I have no strategy. That and that actually is a strategy because it means I can't be predicted. <laughs> it's like when you play against a forty-five thousand dollars. Do it. Improved quarterback. I just upgraded my quarterback, guys. Maybe you can spend money in game. I didn't know this. Um, like why would you not spend the money? I guess because you want to have a high score for like the scoreboards. Boom. Boom! Oh, man, we got so far. Um, I totally forgot what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, when you're playing as a novice in poker, like when you're playing as someone who knows what they're doing, sometimes it can be easier to play against them because you know they're going to follow like some predictable pattern. But when you play against a true novice who has no idea what's going on, it's like they can't be predicted. So that's the only thing I have going for me 
is that I'm basically picking all my plays randomly. I'm moving randomly and behaving randomly on the field. So if the AI is designed to react to any sort of sensible strategy, it won't be able to understand. It's like, huh, he's passing up obvious plays and going for harder ones. And he does terrible moves and great moves at the same time. It's like, I, I can't understand what's happening here. Boom. Yes. Oh, touchdown. Okay, now we just got to run this clock out. Okay, so we're in control of the ball. So we're going we're gonna to try and burn this. Oh, no, we don't want to burn the eight seconds because we want the conversion point. Um, boom. We're dead. Okay, we didn't get the conversion point. They rushed us. They bum rushed us. I thought my quarterback was super advanced and upgraded, but I guess not. See, the thing, the problem with them receiving the kickoff is once they're in control of the ball, they'll be able to decide if they're going to run the clock out or not. I want to dictate how long each of the plays take from now on, but they control the ball. If it were up to me, I would just hold the ball until uh, three minutes is up. But, uh, okay, zone defense, I guess. Defend the zone! That's the place we gotta defend, guys. Go for it! Yeah, you suck. I had, I was integral to knocking you down there. Let's go for the LB drop. So, when you're watching football, by the way, do you have any idea what plays people are going for? Like, cause, cause the teams pick their plays, right? And then, like, they don't tell. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my God! Jesus! They got so much coverage, that is insane. We're gonna lose, aren't we? Wait, okay, hold on, I can run this time out. There's only two minutes left. I have some control here. I'm gonna go with the goal line. But like, when you're watching football, do you know what, what plays the teams have picked? It just To me, it looks like just a bunch of guys kind of like running around. Boom, all right. We're gonna run out, we're gonna be super cheap here and run out as much of the clock as we can. Going for short. We we'll go for the LB blitz. Okay, we just ran out over 30 seconds. So if they don't score this time or next, we got them. Go, 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 go. Yes, okay, it's incomplete. It's incomplete. Oh, we got 42 seconds. We can run out 42 seconds. Yes. Yes, the cheapest way to win. Winning on a technicality is the best way to win. Two, one. Oh, there's only one second left for them to do anything. It doesn't even matter what play we pick. You can't get anywhere in one second. We just set them up to fail. You lose. You lose. We cheated. We totally ran out the clock. Yes, now you are all destroyed. Terminated. Football in the 21st century. That's damn straight. The Terminators win. Now that we've won at football, we can uh, carry out our mission of assassinating everyone with the name Sarah Connor. Sarah and John Connor. Just travel back in time, rip out a page of the phone book, and everyone with the name Sarah Connor is dead. That's uh, the Terminator's end goal in life. All right, $10,000 per point. Ooh, we almost even beat our high score. And we, we purchased two upgrades. We spent like over a hundred grand in upgrades. And we almost beat the high score. Programmer physicist. They had a physicist? There was a physicist that they hired to program this game. Do you guys see that? That's crazy. <laughs> well, Cyberball here has been our American Thanksgiving video game. I hope you guys have had fun, as I definitely have. Now, um, Cyberball is a really cool game. Uh, I, I love these alternative sports games where there's robots or monsters or Vikings or whatever. One day I will play Brutal Sports Football again. I'll get a friend over and we'll play. It'll be uh, loads of fun. Maybe I'll play this again someday too. If you have any ideas for other alternative sports um, games, I would love to know just to have them on my radar for like occasions like this where it makes sense to play a sports game. Because, like, I could play, like, a straight-up sports game, but, like, you know me, like, I, I'm more into, like, the sci-fi, the action, the fantasy, all that stuff. Um, I'm just, I'm just, we have just never been a straight-up sports guy. But, uh, you know, if I can't find a, an alternative sports game, I'll, I will play a straight-up game. I like, like, NBA Jam and stuff. Like, there are some sports games I like. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope it has been fun. If you are celebrating Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you ate some turkey on my account, and I hope you're enjoying football today if that is a thing you like to watch. And uh, whatever the case may be, whether you're American or not, 
Um, hopefully you guys have a good day and I will see you guys soon um, on my uh, regular series of thousand and one. Uh, so until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves and uh, peace. Oh no, we lost a touchdown. Ah, they got a touchdown on us.